Welcome to Chapter 5, Lesson 3, A Full Practice of Finding Items. In this lesson, we're going to go over how to find competitors as well as items using Amazon.com. Remember, you can use the same process when sourcing products from Walmart.com, TheHomeDepot.com, AliExpress.com, or any other supplier you would like to source your products from. So because we are using Amazon.com for this example, the first thing you need to do in Zeke Analytics, select your shipping location. Now we did that in our previous videos, but for a quick recap. You're going to go ahead and jump into the management panel here and select my settings. In my settings, you're going to go ahead and select search preferences, select United States, and save preferences. You're also going to do that for your Zeek booster. Make sure the country is on the United States when using Amazon.com. Once you have your settings set, you're going to go back to the product research. Now make sure you have all the necessary tabs open. In this case, we have Zeek Analytics as well as Amazon.com. Now how to find dropshippers that are using Amazon.com as their supplier? Well, when you jump into Amazon.com, first make sure if you are international that you're using a US zip code. Then you're going to go ahead and select a category and you may do that by clicking on all. For this example, we are going to select the category tools and home improvement. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click on the search bar. Now here you're going to scroll down and you're going to see some subcategories. You're going to go ahead and select one. Let's go ahead and select tool organizers for this example. Now once here you're going to look for best sellers. Once you find them, you're going to go ahead and select the see more located right next to the best sellers. And then you're going to go ahead and search for a product. Right now, it's really not that important what product you do search for. So let's go ahead and search this item here. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. And what we're actually going to do is just copy the title of this item. Once we have that title copied, we're going to go back to Zeek Analytics product research. And in the search bar, we're just going to go ahead and paste that title from the product that we found on Amazon. Then we're going to go ahead and click on the search button. As you can see, a lot of these items are repeating, which means that these are dropshippers who are using Amazon.com as their supplier. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these items and click on Zeek selection. As you can see, these are really bad stats, but we are not looking at the stats. We're trying to find dropshippers to go into their profiles and find items. So we're going to scroll down to the product list. Now, if you remember from our previous videos, here we have the sellers. Here we have the scan seller icons. Underneath the star is the amount of feedback. So the feedback score for every seller. Then of course we have the product, the title and the price. It's sometimes a really good idea to look for products on Amazon that have a higher selling price. This will give you more room for profit. Now, once under this product list, you're going to go ahead and look for dropshippers. And when you find some dropshippers, you're going to go ahead and click on the scan seller icon. And you're going to choose a couple of these. So I first chose this Israel one and next I'm going to choose this Thailand one. And remember all of these flags that are international, it's more likely that they are drop shippers. So I opened up two tabs for two different drop shippers. You may go ahead and select all of these, but for this example, we'll just stick to two. So we have this drop shipper from Israel. You can see that his stats are not so good. But remember, we don't want to limit ourselves when we are looking for products. So it's never a bad idea to check out the product list of each seller. So let's go ahead and scroll down. Now right away, I can see that this seller is not good for me. And let me tell you why. He has good products, but as you can see, sales drop from eight to two. And we always want to look for a product that has a minimum of five sales. So the first item here, you can see it has eight sales and the price is $63. Great. But the bad thing about this item is it has 22 other drop shippers that are competing with the same item. And when looking for an item, we do not want to compete with any more than 10 competitors. So 10 competitors or less is what we look for when we find an item. So none of these products will work for us when we take into consideration the sales 
and the amount of competitors. So let's just go ahead and close this tab. Let's look at this seller here from Thailand. Great sell through rate, active listings 972, but his average product price is $182.16. So let's scroll down to his product list to check out some of his products. Also, another thing to keep in mind when looking for products, you want to stay away from the branded items. You want to look for generic products. So the first item is a guitar strap. The second item is a guitar bass pedal. The third item is also a guitar strap. And this fourth item here is an EMG 35DC active bass pickup for four string bass black. Okay, so there's 10 sales in the last 30 days, 10 total sales. It's selling for $199.89 and there are only eight other drop shippers selling the same item. So here we have a product that's not branded, has great sales, selling for a great price and we won't have to compete against a lot of other people who are selling this item. So now that we found an item, let's go ahead and click on the title to open it up on eBay to get a little bit more information. Here right away, you can see that this item is out of stock, but it did sell 10 times for $199.89. It doesn't have any additional photos, so this is all we can work with now. But of course, it's also very important to read the item specifics as well as additional information about the item under the product description or features. So even though this item here is out of stock on eBay for this particular seller, let's go ahead and see if we can find it on Amazon. So we're gonna go back to the Zeek Analytics product research of our competitor. And the easiest way to find this on Amazon is by clicking on this red cross here. Once you click on the red cross, you're able to select the Amazon icon which will actually scan this title on Amazon. And right away, the very first item that comes up is the same item that's being sold on eBay. And the picture is the same as well. But the price for this item here on Amazon is $99. And on eBay, it was selling for $199. But as you can see, it's the same item. And there are only four left in stock on Amazon. Also, another very important thing to look for when finding a product. You want to make sure your supplier has enough. And it's also a good idea to find an item that's sold by or shipped by Amazon. This item here is actually sold by Zorro Sounds, which isn't that bad, but it's sometimes just easier to have to deal with just Amazon and not a different seller who's selling on Amazon. But let's say we want to sell this item on eBay. Instead of taking the time to calculate if we're going to get a profit or not, what you can do is copy this S in here. So you're going to go ahead and copy this code, which is the S in code, and go back to the product list of your competitor. Click on the red cross, and here you have the option to paste that S in or product ID here. Once you do that, just click enter, and this reload button will show up. And when it does, click on it and Zeke will actually estimate the profit for you. So as you can see, we found this product from our competitors. We opened it up on eBay to get more information. We did see it was out of stock, but Amazon is carrying for more. And so let's say we take the chance to sell this. We would get a profit for every item that sold $70.61. This is an amazing product with an amazing profit. Now, if you want to save this item for later down the road, you can just go ahead and click save item and the item will be saved. And once you do that, the item will be saved for you when you do decide to sell it. Now let's go ahead and look at another product. Let's take this product here for example. This is a guitar pedal board. 7 sales in the last 30 days, 10 overall sales, selling for $99.99, and there are 3 other dropshippers selling the same item. Again, what you do is click on the title to open it up on eBay, and as you can see, this item is out of stock as well. But let's go ahead and see if we can find it on Amazon anyways. So let's go back to the product list of our competitors and click on this red cross here. Click on the Amazon icon. 
and right away we found the item and it's selling on Amazon for $49.89. It is in stock. So again, what you can do is instead of going through and trying to estimate your profit, you can just go ahead and copy this code up here, go back to the product list, paste, enter, reload, $34 profit for every sold item. If you were to sell this item on eBay using Amazon as your supplier, go ahead and save the item for later use. So to recap, we jumped into Amazon. We found the tools and home improvement category. Then we found a subcategory. Then we found a subcategory, which was tool organizers. Tool organizers led us to the best sellers where we went and clicked on see more. Here we found a product, which was this tool bag. We clicked on it, copied the title from Amazon, went to the Zeek Analytics product research, searched for these tool bags, found other dropshippers who are using Amazon as their supplier, scanned a couple of sellers using the scan seller icons, which opened up a new tab so we can see the statistics of each seller as well as their products. After taking the time to look through their products, evaluating the title, the amount of sales, the price, and the amount of competitors for each item, we clicked on the title to open up each product on eBay to get more information. After we got all the information needed from our photo, the title, the price, the item specifics, as well as other product descriptions, we went back to our competitor's product list, clicked on the red cross, clicked on the Amazon icon, which took us to that same exact product on Amazon. Once we found it, we copied the ASIN code, went back to the competitor's product list, copied the ASIN or product ID, and clicked enter to reload. Save the item, and that is how you source items from Amazon.com. Again, you may use this for Walmart.com, AliExpress.com, The Home Depot, or any other supplier you would like to work with.